Hey guys, I am Jeremy Zimdars from freedomfromfailure.com. Thanks for checking out this video. Today we're going to talk about your negative mind and what you could do about it. Now, chances are, this is pretty much the rule. Most people are negative. They eat, sleep, and drink negativity. It doesn't matter what you call them, negative Nancys, Debbie Downers, the proverbial party pooper. Most people are more negative than positive. Now, why is that? Why are so many people programmed to be negative? Well, actually, we inherited it genetically. Because, you see, back in the day, people were more focused on survival. Now, the big thing about surviving is that you have to avoid the things that could kill you. These are negative influences, negative factors. So people would seek out, is there a bear near our camp, per, per se? That is a pretty good indicator that maybe you might be dying soon. Are there lions or a pride of lions nearby? Probably not an issue if you're in America, or unless there's a zoo break but more of an issue if you live in Egypt or, you know, uh, Africa. Uh, are there killer hippos that are waiting in the creek next door? You know, what grotesque thing happened to the kid down the street when he was mauled by an ostrich? Actually, ostriches more like kick you, but, you know, uh, I, I guess you could call it mauling. So, all these negative things, we, our ancestors, we're worried about dying all the time. So we actually carried on these things. Our brains are genetically programmed to seek out the negative. Well, today we have far fewer things that are actually trying to proactively kill you. I mean, most people die from heart attacks or car accidents or cancer. So these things are not like lurking in the mists and you have to, you know, be aware of them all the time. So now that we live in a world with less risk of death around the corner, we can start focusing on bettering our minds and bettering our lives. But how do you do that? Well, the easiest and best way is to actually pay attention and seek out the positive stories. Listen to positive speeches. Go to areas where positive people hang out. Probably not your local strip club, but maybe like a coffee shop. More positive people tend to hang out there. Listen to positive audios. Read an inspirational book. These things all will have positive influences on your mind and on your character. Once you start seeing the positive more and more, you will stop focusing on the negative. And that's another aspect to it is if you just stop watching the news a lot, if you stop paying attention to all the negative stories in your Facebook trending box in the side margin, that will also help propel you to becoming more positive, as long as you're still focused on the positive. You see, everything has a good and a bad associated with it. It, 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 it. This all has to do with the yin and yang of everything. So you could focus on that good part, or you could focus on the bad part. And most people will focus on the bad. They are two types of habits. You have developed a habit of looking at the bad because you are ge genetically disposed to do that. But now that you know that, you can't use that excuse anymore because you know better. So what will you be doing next time you hear about a story of a, a mall shooting or you hear a story about, you know, little Johnny down the street getting sick? You're going to start to look for the good. I'm not saying little Johnny being sick is good. But I'm saying that there's so many good things that happen that people don't hear about because the media is trying to push all these negative stories at you. Once you can get away from all that negativity, you'll see that the world is such a beautiful and positive place, but you really have to look for it. I'm Jeremy Zimdars from freedomforfailure.com. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as more content will be coming down the pipeline soon. And I will see you in future videos. Stay tuned in and take it easy. Yeah.